inside my own world of make believe. Kids screaming in the cradles, profanities. I see the world through ice covered in ink and bleach. Cross out the ones who heard my cries and watched me weep. I love everything. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. just put the gas on my car and I realized that one of my tire pressure was low so I put some air on my rear tire and I went going to go to the laboratory. Now I'm actually gonna eat my sausage egg and cheese on a croissant that I heat up. I buy the big boxes on at, at BJ's. I am pregnant so I need to eat at this time because my son he is like no, we need to do something. So. Some days I feel skinnier than all the other days. Sometimes I can't tell if my body belongs to me. So it is 3:30. The stops are not ready yet, so I am waiting for them to put it out. Um, on Mondays I usually have stops that. I have to, it takes me longer on Mondays. So for example, like I told you in my previous videos, I'm able to finish between seven, um, sometimes 6.45, depending on the stops I have. But because today I have like two, two stops that open around 7.38, I will be back to the laboratory a little bit late. So today I got out of the lab later than expected because some of the dosages were not ready. So I'm getting out, like I'm going to the runs at 4 a.m. I will be out like around 3.30, 3.45. So that means that's going to affect the time that I am finished doing the run. So here I got to my first stop. 31 miles from my actual pickup point um so i'm gonna drop off it takes me around five minutes to go and come back so my words so bright it's hard to breathe but that's all right hush Here I am in the second stop and uh, this is all the way in White Plains and I'm gonna actually be doing the same thing I did in the previous one from the last stop I was to here it was around 15 miles I am done with this stop. This one is all the way up um, in Mount Kisco. So now, usually this is my last stop um, coming all the way up here. And now I gotta go back down to the Bronx. And I'll be 
finishing over there. So here I am. I'm in the Bronx now. I have three drop off to this location. After this, I have one more and I'll be done. Around my room, my world's so bright. It's hard to breathe, but that's all right. Hush. beautiful people and I am on my way to my last stop for the first run it is 6 39 a.m. so I'll be there in around 10 minutes so that means I have some time to wait because that stop opens at 7 30 so here I am driving over there it is 7.07 and I am in front of my last stop. It's actually daytime now. It's no longer night. Um, and I'm here waiting. They open at 7.30 so I still have 20 more minutes here to wait. If I get to this last stop very, very early, I sometimes open my computer here and I start doing stuff over here because by the time I get to the laboratory, it's already gonna be A. I still have a, one hour left over there to do some stuff, but maybe 20, 30 minutes if I have time here, I also be doing stuff over here. And because I have the hotspot from T-Mobile that I can take it everywhere. This one, I actually got it for free um, because it's through my daughter. They have this promotion on T-Mobile. Um, I'm gonna put more information in the description, but I know if you have kids in school, they are going to be, depending on the age, qualify for this free hotspot for five years. It is 7.35. I am already done with my first run and I am heading to the laboratory. It takes me around let's say 30 minutes to get there. So I'll be there probably around eight. I'll stop at Dunkin's to get some coffee. And that is around 20 to 18 miles from this, the last stop to all the way over there to the laboratory. So with that being said, let's see. Thank you. I just got to the laboratory. Now I'm just going to take out all the empty boxes that I pick up at the locations that I drop off. And that's it. I wait until 9.30 for the second round to be ready. So now I go inside. I edit some videos that I have here for the YouTube channel. I, you know, do some other stuff until time passes. So that is pretty much it for today. I wanted to take you guys on a day working with me as a medical delivery carrier. I hope you enjoy the experience. And this is mostly what I do every day from Monday through Friday. And it's something that I like so far to do. Now it's a little bit challenging because of my pregnancy, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I mean, this job pays well. As you guys know, I'm editing the video right now so that you can enjoy it. Please like and subscribe to support my channel and leave any comments or any suggestion for future videos. See you in the next one.